Hold the door. You want to hit that button? No, you got it. My name is Edward Wellington. I have an appointment at four with Dr. B. Little. Four there? Okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hi, I'm Tom Short. <laughs> nice to meet um, you. Want a magazine? Oh, thank you. Okay. Robert Kiyosaki once said, Face your fears and doubts, and new worlds will open to you. Germophobia is a pathological fear of contamination and germs. And for Edward Wellington, this fear is a part of his everyday life. Tom Short feels like his fear is much worse. Tom suffers from claustrophobia, which is the extreme or irrational fear of confined spaces. When these two meet together in a doctor's office, there's no telling what will happen. Will these two ever overcome their fears? Or will they have to deal with them for the rest of their lives? Take a journey with us in Dueling Phobias by Brenda Cohen and Jonathan Mayer. So, just see the big game? I don't like game. <laughs> the big baseball game? I must have missed it. Well, I was there. So who won? You know? I, I, I don't actually know, per se. Um, I was hoping you could tell me. What? You don't know who won? But, but you were at the game, right? I didn't see much after the seventh inning stretch. You left right in the middle? It's not that easy. During the seventh inning stretch, I got up to go to the bathroom. And you met a girl and you took her home. Oh, hey, to go, man. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> That's not what happened. I went into the bathroom and then. You saw a crazed fan talk smack about your favorite team. So I can't see his butt. <laughs> no. That didn't happen either. I went into the stall to do my thing. Of course. And then. <laughs> and then? The door wouldn't open. It was like it was super glued shut. I tried kicking it down, but it wouldn't budge. I, I started hyperventilating. The next thing I know, I, I passed out. Jeez. I woke up on the floor later. Oh, that's when I realized I could crawl out under the door. Oh, oh. oh. it was a tight squeeze. Oh. 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 I got out, realized I went into a water puddle. Not a water puddle! Oh. I went back to my seat, sat down, looked around, and for the first time, realized that everybody had left. That stinks. Tell me about it! Oh, I came here right away. I never want to miss another game. But, but what I don't understand is that why did it take you so long to figure out that you could crawl? on the floor oh, to get out from underneath the stall. It's not easy to think when your life is flashing before your eyes. I'm sure you don't understand, though. Actually, I've seen the bright white light on quite a few occasions. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. I'd like to hear about your so-called life-threatening situations. If you insist. How's that Chuck E. Cheese's for my nephew's birthday party? Chuck E. Cheese's, huh? huh? I hear that's where all the mass murderers hang out nowadays. I know, but that's not the worst part. That place is filled with crawling, drooling, thumb-sucking, nose-picking children. 
Oh, it was repulsive. Anyway, it was after lunch, and my nephew, he wanted to go play in the ball pit. I tried telling him how germ-infested, how bacteria-filled that place was. Or fun. But he didn't listen to me. He just jumped on in. And later, he said he wanted to show me a trick. So, you know, me being a good uncle and all, I, I went over there, and you wouldn't guess what that little rascal did next. He put the ball pitch in it here. Yes, how did you know? That's the oldest trick in the book. My kids pull it on me all the time. Well, I had to go home right away and take a shower. I used four different kinds of soaps, two loofahs, and even a pumice stone. A what? A pumice stone? No, scrub. Whoop, scrub your feet. Wait, you were wearing shoes when you got pulled in the ball pit, correct? Well, of course. If I lived a few miles away, Oh, I would have been a goner for sure. Man, listen to yourself. Have you ever heard of anybody being killed by a germ attack? Yes. Or being murdered by bacteria? That kind of stuff just doesn't happen. Yes, it does. I mean, you're being a little hypocritical. It's not like my problem is as, is as small as yours. That's not funny. <laughs> well, I wish my problem was as... <laughs> it's not something to be joking about. <laughs> yes, it is. I could cure you with this plant. <gasps> what are you doing with that? <laughs> <laughs> down. Just breathe. You don't need any of that stuff. Your body has its own immune system. And in it, there are billions upon billions of T cells specifically designed to kill those bad germs. Really? Yes. Imagine those T cells fighting off those bad dirt germs. Okay, try. <laughs> it's not working. That's because you're not trying hard enough. Spread out your arms. Like this. Now, this chair here is full of germs. Germs? Get the germs. Get them? Kill them. <laughs> A little bit more than that. <laughs> oh, wow, you showed it. OK. <laughs> really imagine you're the T cell. You're the T cell. <laughs> <laughs> do that again. You just have to realize it, that it's all in your head. No, it's not. I could die in there. Uh, oh. Now, I'm going to put you in it again. Don't. And you're going to have to get out of it. Please. Wait, my house. I'm wife and kids. Ah! Hello? Well, OK, then. <laughs> Use your brain. That's the key. Hey, I think I see a door and a lock. Oh, thank I you. I told you you had nothing to fear from small spaces. Let's try this out. Okay. Okay, okay a little bit more. Okay. Okay, squish my face. Okay. okay, okay, I guess you're right. I can't overcome my fears. Well, 
We don't really need these appointments anymore. I guess not. Mm -hmm. Want to get out of here? Sure, but only if you take the elevator. Okay. But only if you press the buttons. Deal. <laughs>